the wonder. Stevie the wonder. This is the, uh, the studio. Yo, 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 yo. There he go. There he go. What's going on? Not much, not much. Kenneth, what's up with your brother? Not much, man. What's good? What's good? What's good? I was up. Good. I was good. playing 2K waiting on y'all. 2K? Yeah, I was. Getting smacked? <laughs> I ain't really. <laughs> I, was, I was just waiting. Okay, okay, okay. All right, for the people that don't follow you, and the, for the people that um, don't know exactly what you do, let everybody know what you do and and um, and where you're from and everything. From New York, but I might as well say I'm from Charleston now. I've been here long enough, so I say I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, by way of New York. Um, I'm your resident historian of Jordan 1s. Um, everything Jordan 1s, I'm on it. Um, I also have another page, but that's besides the point. That's We'll, we'll get into that later. But um, I, uh, I started this page probably like three, four years ago, and originally it was just a normal page, and you know I was, I was just doing the family thing. Um, I want to say, like, even the IG stuff, taking pictures of my food and all of that. I, I ain't going to front. That's, that's how the page first started out. Right, you know, I, I got into, like, taking more pics of my shoes at the time, and, you know, that wasn't doing nothing, you know, and it didn't it didn't take off or nothing like that. And then um, I started diving into the history, and little by little, pages started picking up. Word. And okay. it started out. Where, uh, where did the love for the Jordan 1 come from? First shoe I ever had. Um, besides oh. sevens and eights, but it was the first shoe I ever had, 94. I was like seven, I was either seven or eight years old at the time, and that was the first shoe I got. Grinded all summer for it, and my cousins rewarded me with a pair of Chicago's, and that was it. Word. Oh. Besides those, the Chicago's, what would probably be like your favorite ones? Favorite ones? I have uh, my, my top five, uh, like, changes from week to week. <laughs> But um, <laughs> I'll, stick, I'll stick with this. This is my, my go-to list. There's Chicago's, Carmine's, Black Toes. Um, there's a KO. I just call it the Army Green KO because a lot of people haven't seen it before. And then uh, Knicks or Metallics, but either or. That, that's why that list always fluctuates and changes from week to week. Like right now, I have a, I have a new list that starts with uh, Bread Toes, Letterman's, Wheats, Royals and UNC, so like the list always changes. Okay, okay, okay. So if you couldn't be in love with ones, what shit would you be in love with? If ones didn't That's, exist, I, I actually have that on the way right now. You got that on the way? <laughs> yeah, I had somebody create it, so, so we'll see. You'll see it soon. I, I can't. I, I don't want to say it because it's it's coming. It's coming. It'll be here by the end of the month. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and then, so what age was it when you did copy your first ones? Was it a gift? Did you buy it with your own money? What's the backstory behind it? Uh, it was a gift, um, but the age when I first started buying my own shoes, I'd say probably like 16, 17. But okay. Everybody else was doing it, hustling. So, yeah, right, right. yeah, for real, making it work. All right, so what is your uh, what is your plan and your goal for your page? To uncover every Jordan one and to open up awareness for a lot of mental health issues. I know that's like doesn't make any sense of how that meshes together, but it's something that I'm very passionate about, and I try to make it mesh together. Um, sure. Especially in the black community, we do not talk about health issues. Yeah. Like um, suicide, we don't talk about depression, we don't talk about a lot of stuff that goes on in our community, and I've been through it. Um, I know mad people who have been through depression, but won't say that they've been through depression because it yeah. to them it may may sound like they're weak or something. But like, nah, nigga, that's that's who you are. That's what yeah, you yeah. Yeah. make you right, right. Yeah, 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 straight up. That, that's why I I, I um I try to I try to push that at least like once a week when I when I feel passionate about it so it's organic and it's not like 
oh, I got to do this. Let me talk about it now. Yo, I'm feeling this way, and let me tell you why I feel this way, and it's okay to feel this way. Speaking like mental health, I think the color for mental health is like blue. You feeling them game royals? Of course. Of course. Okay. Of course. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a story behind those game royals. Um, all right. When the frags released in 2014, if uh, people were paying attention to the Nike Lab Instagram page, I don't know if it's still up and running. The page was still there. The post was still there. Well, on the post, it says that um, Fragment Design owner, creator, drew inspiration from two samples from 84. One of those samples is what we're getting right now with the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, that's wrong. So I know you're the person to come to when we need some knowledge about Jordan 1, but. Has that knowledge always been there, or it, it kind of more picked up when you started the page? It started picking up when I started the page. I wasn't, like, super knowledgeable, and that's what I tell everybody when they ask me, like, yo, how'd you get so big, or how's your page growing so fast? It's, one, it's love and passion. Two, it's a lot of research. I talk sure. to a lot of people, and because of this, I've been fortunate enough to be around a lot of pairs, like, Pairs I don't own, somebody will reach out, be like, yo, I own this pair. If you want to come through, you can see it, whatever, whatever. And well, just, because of that, right. I, you know, got hand-on experience with a lot of pairs that a lot of people wouldn't even see in their lifetime. That's what's up. Yeah, for sure. That talking to people come along with it. I think that's something we, we got from Grinch Hello Message. Just go talk to any event, talk to everybody. Really? So we be, you got to talk to everybody, just get knowledge, get whatever they got, because somebody knows something you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Never be afraid to ask questions, you know? Yeah, like, I talk to a lot of people behind a lot of these brands daily, whether they reach out to me or I reach out to them. I just try to pick their brain and pick up knowledge, you know? And yeah. a lot of them are fans of my page, which is crazy to me. It's still crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm forever humbled by it. But to be able to talk to some of these people that are behind some of the biggest releases from the past 10 years is crazy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's dope. And really that it's about the knowledge. Most people, you know, we can call a spade a spade. Most people are out to try to get endorsements, get contracts, or get something out of those brands. Being able to just be somebody that still just wants the knowledge at the end of the day is, you know what I mean, real. And I tell them straight up, look, I don't want a damn thing from you, but to be able to pick your brain whenever you are. And right. nine times out of ten, they say, you know what, IG ain't the place. Here's my number. Yeah. And that, that that that's all I need. Hey, you send me your number. I can text you whenever. Y'all yeah, got a question about this release that's coming up. What's going on? What's happening? And they tell me. Or it be something like, you know, I just, I want to know what's going on. What's the ins and outs behind this? What's the ins and outs behind that? Because, um, like, recently I, I, um, I did my customs month in February, right? Where, like, every day I featured a different custom artist. And a lot of them kept, you know, hitting me up out of fear, like, yo, or the brand's going to steal my design, or they're going to do this, this, that, and the third. I'm like, nah. And even if they were, you did it first, right? You won't see this for another two to three right. years because of the time yeah. frame. And it was like, what do you mean? I was like, because it takes time for them to first come up with a, with a storyline and a pitch because not a shoe just gets made and it's going to production. It's a storyline and, yeah, sure. and that has to be approved. Yeah. Then you get a sample that has to be approved, and then right. you know, it, it, it goes from there. But people forget yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, they just no. they're just not popping up with colorways on you. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Even when we get mad at colorways, like they like, still that still got approved. Like, like the, <laughs> over, the over the overrun of up tempos that we got last year, like there was nothing they can do to stop it. Even if they weren't selling, they had to put them out because they already hit production. Right. So it was yeah, like, right. we can't just let them sit in the damn on on that boat and ride. They got to put them out. Yeah, yeah. for real. So, yeah, that's what we be. That's what, every year it's one shoe that they just keep doing. Yeah, I think I think we getting a lot of ninety sevens right now. So, the show is. The show hell of ninety sevens. Air Maxes is going to be killed this year. <laughs> this hey, wait, wait, wait. So what, what is Mr. Unloved Ones wearing on Air Max Day? 
Um, ones. <laughs> <laughs> if I had some Air Maxes, it would be Air Maxes, man. But I, as my wife would say, for the past, what, eight years now, babe? About eight years now? My wife said it's been about seven to eight years that I haven't worn any other shoe outside of a Jordan 1. Damn. Well, damn. damn. It'll never happen with me. <laughs> damn. See, yeah. Not even Air Max ones? I'll say that again. Not even Air Max ones? Listen, my collection has, I, I've gotten rid of everything. I got rid of everything. I got rid of all my dunks, flight posits, um, Air Force Ones, any Adidas's I had, uh, Stan mm -hmm. Smith's, Samoa's, oh, all my Tim, my Euro Trackers, everything is gone. All I have is Jordan 1's. That's it. Ain't you in the snow? <laughs> That's what the, the snow? for. That's what the you lose them? How you don't got no <laughs> Tim's? <laughs> and she hates Tim's, too. <laughs> Wait, wait, you back, you back. Hold on, we losing you. Oh, man, hold on. Oh. That helps. Hold on. Oh, help? man. Let's change the Wi-Fi real quick. Hopefully that helps. You back? I'm going to have to start over. You back, you back? You back? Yeah, I can hear y'all. I can hear y'all. There we go. Right, we back. We back. We back in business. Right. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Yeah, right, what's yeah. the ugliest Jordan one ever made? <laughs> Polka dots. Polka dots. What's what's, what garbage ass Jordan one you would never wear? Uh, oh, come on now. Uh, I got two. I got two. One is everybody's favorite. And what, Shattered one, Backboards? Yeah, Shattered Backboards is one. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. The other one, the other one is top threes. I don't really like the top threes neither. Wow. I would have thought you were saying Leroy Smiths or something. Or something. I can do the Leroy Smiths. I can wear those to work. I can pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> this is I, just I do, this I'll even do the four half ones with the fly knit color. You remember the the fly sweaters? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> those is ugly as hell too, but I still do those over damn over the top threes. Wow. Wait, what you got against shattered backboards? I heard that's um, the best um, quality for them. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> listen, like, but in all honesty, in all honesty, I didn't like the color blocking. Until I seen it on the All Star ones last year. Remember the All Stars that they had last year? It's a shadow backboard color blocking. That's what made me kind of warm up. Feel like, all right, that's cool. But I still don't like the colors. And last year, I told everybody about the bread toes, and people was like, "Get the fuck out of here! That ain't happening." And I shattered backboard, but red. It's like, oh, so we getting a shattered back three point oh? No, shattered back, but red. Red. I can do that. That I can do. I can do those. Right. But uh, the shattered backboards, the only reason I, truthfully, besides the color, the only reason I didn't like it was because, like, the overemphasis on quality, that's not there. You know, like, I, I wish you people would, like... People just, you think people just saying that because it hasn't been there for a while? So when they got that shoe, it was just better than all the ones that have been releasing? At first, I was thinking that. But then, like, I started, like, getting everything else. So I got Shies. I got UNCs. I got literally everything else from Frag upwards minus Pinnacles. And I had Shattered Backboards in hand. I felt maybe close to 30, 40 different Shattered Backboard pairs in hand. I've worn one. No. 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 <laughs> no. Well, what? Uh, Only first? Was like... It's 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 just another one to me. I mean, I I, I get it. To me, it's kind of different being me, but like when you feel so many different pairs, and then you know about the history, you know the outlet pair from uh, 2011. 
You know the shatter, shadows from 0809. You know the hand pack from 2001. Yeah. You don't look at that pair the same way. So is it more the, just the hype that everybody got on the shoe? Is that that's what's kind of killing it for you? Or you just don't like the fucking shoe? Both. <laughs> A cool, but I would give them to the home. Yes. I look at it like this. You look at it like this, right? So to justify you paying six, seven hundred dollars for that pair, you're gonna have to say the quality is exceptional, right? True, you, true. You're not gonna spend that much money, get the shoe, and be super disappointed with the quality. You're gonna play that shit up like, nah, fuck it, the quality's there. Yeah. yeah. You got enough people doing that, it's like, damn, maybe the maybe all right, cool. Yeah, the quality's there. When in, in right. reality is like, yo, I paid three hundred for these. Quality is so so. I can live with that. You you, you see that? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. A lot of people won't be you know uh, uh, true to themselves and say, nah, this ain't it. This ain't it. They won't. They, they, they won't. They that won't it opinion. Is. Yeah, it's already there. That's how. I be, that's why I be on people with the Yeezys. People say they so comfortable so much because you cashed out. For yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to have something to justify the price. Exactly. My homeboy has every easy that released, right? Period. That That's his thing. He has to go get it. Don't matter what he got to drop on it, he's going to do it. He and at the it. end of the day, he'll say he got NMDs that are way more comfortable than his Yeezys that he paid, you know, $80 for. <laughs> so, so why are you spending that much money? It's like, because it's I have to complete that set. They drop another one. I have to go get it. I understand. Yeah. That's just That's his justification for spending that money on it. Somebody else is. I was spending that money on it because I like it. You don't like it. You're trying to impress the next man over here. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, so, right. Yeah. So, keyword man. <laughs> Niggas <laughs> trying to impress the no, next man. man. Listen, the only person I got to impress is you know she 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 put her you know we we here. That's the only person I got to impress. Right. Yeah. So as far as it comes to new like releases and things, do you keep up with everything, or you just kind of keep up? With... I keep up with. I keep. I try to keep up with everything. Of course, I'm gonna keep up with Jordan Brand and Nike, but I try to keep up with everything because I have a Facebook page that pretty much we talk about everything. You know, um, everything around the sneaker culture, everything around media in general. So like, if if new clothes is coming out, we talking about that. We talking about every release, but um. On Instagram, that's that that's why I started another page called Expression Soul, where we'll talk about the next release that's coming out, whether it be the thirty thousand Air Maxes that released in this month or, you know, anything else, you know. Um most recently they were talking about how a lot of the Yeezys that the fakes sellers were getting were not the same pattern or color as the official release that's coming out later. That was bit that was a big thing. They started talking about over the past few days. I want to say two, three days that that's happened. But it, there's no coincidence. We see it. Everybody sees it. You know, as soon as the rep sellers see, you know, what it is, they get in the full size run the next day. So pay attention. You see the um, uh, the the early seller with a full size run two days after that. So it's like, all right, that adds up for y'all. I'm not buying because I know where that pair came from. Exactly. Yeah, team early is, is garbage. Right. <laughs> I, don't know, like, I don't know how you can just, it's like common sense. Like, motherfucker, this shoe is supposed to be limited, but this nigga got pairs months early and he got full size run. Nah. Yeah. Now, it's a different story. You can get away with 11s because the motherfucker's been robbing Memphis for years. Yeah. All right. But that's, that's a whole nother story. They about to up the, you know, uh, <laughs> Security soon, uh, yeah, or they probably. probably did it. I don't know, but I said that, that, yeah, that, that FedEx hub be hit. <laughs> now, you, now you gonna have their own fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. hub. Hey, 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 we we know. <laughs> oh, so, so I, I worked at FedEx <laughs> out here. Like that shit, that, that motherfuckers getting hit. Hey, we, we incriminate nobody, so <laughs> All right, right, yeah. right. I mean, they might start. They might start hitting the the right hub soon, and be like, "Hey, hey, we know where to go now." But yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. that's a that's a whole nother ball game. Oh yeah, for sure. For and, sure, for sure. So, so how excited were you when you seen the info about the thirty 
plus Jordan ones this year. Okay, so about that. <laughs> it was, uh, April, April or May of last year when we started getting coach for this year. Mm -hmm. And, like, as the year kept going, I started looking at the list like, nah, this shit ain't real. Ain't no way they're going, you know, that's too many. Because I, right. I was already from So Heat on Feet. I collect a lot of stuff that he puts up. So from him alone, he already had, like, 15. On my list, right. I had eight. So eight and 15. <laughs> right. We had right. 23 right there. So I'm like, ain't, that's 23 pairs. Ain't no way they putting out 23 pairs. The whole December comes, and a whole nother list of screw, skew codes pop up. And I'm like, yeah. I can't do nothing. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Then, like, my wife got pregnant, and I was like, I'm going on a sabbatical. I ain't buying shit. <laughs> 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 nothing. Because <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> too much. And then it was like, I was looking at the colors and just envisioning color blockings before I started getting the actual word on what was coming. And I was like... All right, I like that. I like that. I can pick like two or three out of this pack. I can pick, oh shit, energy releases. And I just gave up. I just gave up. Like, my excitement went out the window when I started seeing energy releases. April, I can say this without fear of repercussions. April, we have two to three energy releases. Okay. Can y'all guess which one is, is coming? Because I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people seen the news about one of them. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> homage to Holmes. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I think J twenty three app just posted something that they are they already on the um that's the calendar right. at Villa. Yeah, yeah. I just seen that earlier today. That's right. That's right. We're getting yeah. I, I'll say this, but I won't say what it is. There's another one that's gonna pop up right behind that. Might be the same day. Same day. <laughs> Might be the same day. Homage to visitors. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about a, a, a Bay Area. I'll hit, you, I'll hit you DMs after this and tell you which one it is. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to think. Like, I, wanna, I don't know. Man. Is something that somebody that, that already leaked? Leak? Any pictures leaked already or not? Something we have before? No, no. I mean, well... No, we ain't have it. We ain't have it. We ain't have it. We ain't have that, it. That means we had a variation and something changed. Okay. Yeah, we had a variation of it, but we ain't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. When do you think oh, they're yeah. going to release? When do you think they're uh, going to retro? Mm, I mean, they did move the Fly Knit 3s back. So you got you got a lot of those Justin Timberlake drops about to happen because his tour just started. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did see that. Yeah. That's all I can say. I, I'll leave it at that. That's all I can say on that. We'll leave it there. Right. We'll leave it there. The exclusive. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> <laughs> and what was, what was your thoughts about that? Um, what was it called? The Summer of Her? The, the Females. The Summer of Her Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we said this here the females. I think my wife maybe like two out of that whole pack. Yeah. The rest of it was eh. She likes the the, the zip joints. Uh, the rebels were eh, and then like the rest of our whole reimage joints. She was like, "You can throw it away. Just just give it I all away. Just throw it all." Zip joints gonna catch. Zip joints gonna catch. Gonna catch up. Wait, what's the that tie up like to the side? Yeah, the uh, indestruct ones. Y'all breaking up. <laughs> the rebels is the ones that tie up to like look like a boxing shoe. No, the Rebels are the twisted one. The the one with the laces twist on to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that got a, a top three coming out? They have like seven or eight different colorways for all of them, but I guess the Rebel is the only one that sold when they first released, so they have more colorways of that one than any of the other ones. Uh, but yeah, okay. they, got, they got a wheat one, there's an orange one, there's a Chicago, there's a top three, there's even a shattered backboard for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty, pretty sure yeah. they'll do all the yeah. yeah. The other energy release for women. Another one? At the backboards. For women? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, Satin shattered backboards. Women only. Satin shattered backboards? Up to a size 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, that didn't that release already? Not released yet. I thought they had. Oh, somebody just said, just keep your eyes open. Somebody put that rumor out that it was going to release at uh, the Barclays Center or something like that. It just like took off. It just it really took off. Somebody said that shit on Twitter, and it just ran with it. Yeah, them. Because I I hit I hit real quick. Say that again. Them the lately made shattered backboards. <laughs> but they got leather on them, though. Yeah, they do. They don't got a Chanel swoosh, but they got the satin, though. They don't got the swoosh. Soon, soon as somebody said they releasing up north at the Barclays Center, I was like, word? Let me make a call. Hey, yo, what's going on? Right. He said, People ain't even moving right now. Ain't nobody out there. I said, all right, ain't nobody. <laughs> right, for real. <laughs> I said, hey, right there. Because uh, Barclays on Flatbush? Ain't that on Flatbush Avenue? I'll, hey, listen, I don't know. I ain't been up there in so damn long. Oh, yeah. That's why I say I'm a Charlestonian. I ain't been up there since they built the stadium. All right. All right, what? Uh, I was moving. Well, I, I used to be in the military. Oh, okay. oh, so you was moving. Yeah, I was moving. Yeah, okay, okay. So, so you was everywhere. So what you think about the hype on the off-white Jordan 1? Which one? Uh, let's let's start with the OG one. Yeah. All right. So with the Chicago's, with the Chicago's, I hated them at first. Like everybody, I truly hated them, and it was like six months of constantly seeing that shoe. I was like, yo, they ain't that damn bad. And then um, if you follow Cole, you know the dude that does all those tight ass graphics and shit. He did yeah. Like, yeah. He did one of those graphics with the Joker, and that completely changed my outlook on the shoe. Or like, oh. They pretty damn dope. And then that was it. You know, that that kind of tapered off after that because I knew I wasn't going to get them. Uh, yeah. Like the white pair. I thought the white pair was dope. Um, I seen the first yeah. pictures with the purple laces. I was like, oh, man. That's sick. Those oh, okay. are pretty as hell in like two days, but that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> One wear. Right. One you wear. Seen the, the, you see the sky blues? Yeah. See, you know what? Um, I'm confused by that because on one hand, somebody said that, you know, that's just going to be the U.S. release, right? Whole different color, UNC blue. Then on the other hand, somebody said, nah, that's not happening. We just going to get that Euro release over here with a different zip tie and a different skew code. But I was like, that don't make sense. Right, that's how they go to do it? Just a skew different code. zip tie? <laughs> yeah. And it's dip so the zip tie is going to change the skew code. Right. <laughs> that's, what you're now? that's cool. I, I'm not mad. Right. I'll take the shoe, but that's how we're doing it. Right. So if we, we, if we change the laces out of another box, we can change the skew code. Gotcha. But yeah, so right. I, I was conflicted with it. I still want that one because that's like the ultimate customizer shoe a whole white, off white. I'm sending that straight to my guy to get done. If I if right. if I get it, I'm sending it straight to my guy to get done. Got to. I mean, because it's gonna get messed up regardless, so I might as well go ahead and mess it up first. Right, yeah, right, for real, real. right, for real. But uh, if, if they do drop the UNC blue, that would be dope. That would be a, a another shoe to have in the collection, just cause you know, a lot of kids would be a lot of kids hit me and was asking why UNC blue, and I was like, cause that's where MJ went to college. And right, right, exactly. <laughs> like, duh. I, like, like, you shouldn't have asked. Hey, but really, though, no, but really, though, no, but really, no, but what does that got to do with Virgil, though? Say it's again. A reasonable question. I said it's a reasonable. It's a reasonable question because his college had to do with. Yeah, I mean, just Virgil paying homage, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, is it Virgil from Chicago too? Is he? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We, we were well, because I'm, I'm guessing he's from Chicago. But he's Ghanaian. He was raised in Chicago. Oh, he was raised in Chicago. Okay. Okay. So he's from Chicago. Yeah. I was saying, like, like he was, like he was saying earlier about doing research and having compassion. I think that's like some of the things that's missing, like is compassion and like doing your research on shit. Cause motherfuckers just be talking shit like, oh, like they know shit and don't be know nothing. You know what I mean? I can't sit here and say I know everything about Yeezys because I don't. Right. So Peter said, but like, yeah, you know, like the first Pirate Blacks, they dropped like three different versions. 
nah, I don't know that shit. So I can't sit here and, and be like, that's <laughs> right. But somebody will sit there and argue with you all day about some shit they don't know. So, no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no idea about. And that that shit keeps me. Now, um, something that I did, <laughs> something that I did want to get into recently was like them Nike bringing back certain silhouettes that they have no business bringing back that didn't sell the first time. Like, like what? Um, the Air Force One phone posits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that they those not um rocking in the East Coast. Niggas ain't fucking with those in the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas ain't fucking with those. Yeah, period. I'm in the South. I'm in the South, right? All they care about is retro J's, and I want to say some of the upscale cats care about the Yeezys and stuff like that. They, you know, they get fly when they get fly. But yeah. the average cat out here, they only care about Willie D's and the new J's. And really, these yeah. Air Forces and the newest Jordans that came out, that's all they care about. Yeah, that sounds that sound about right. About right. I, I, used to, I used to live in the South. That sounds exactly right. <laughs> that sounds exactly right. The Willie D's, though. <laughs> yeah, man. That they don't right. call them sounds. They don't call them forces. They ain't none of that. They really D's. Willie D's. I know. When I was in, uh, when I was in Louisiana, G Nights. G Nights. G Nikes, straight straight forces. G Nikes. So what's your uh, what's your thought about like low Jordan One lows? I love them. I do love them. Um, those are like my perfect work shoe. <laughs> I, I work all the time. Those and mids. Those and mids. Yeah. I was gonna ask there. <laughs> I was gonna ask you that earlier. If you like mids and lows and shit. It's the, it, you know what for me it's like. Um, that's where the name came from, because I used to buy all the unloved pairs. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that, that, it's a play on words, you know. Um, yeah. People didn't like the lasers. People really like the. I got a lot of unloved pairs, all right? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Besides all the hype shit that everybody be liking, I got a lot of unloved pairs. Even though I don't, like, show them off or none of that, like, I have them. <laughs> right. I know I'm no. <laughs> talking about the four lab ones. I got a pair in the back. Right. Got a pair of the bag. I got right. the bottoms. People hated them shits. Um, you got the fly swatters? Say that again? You got the fly swatters? Nah, 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 nah. I ain't got the fly swatters. <laughs> the four the four lab one things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got the I got the um the, I go that far. the three M, the reflective pair that wasn't really reflective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not reflective at all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So, Might as well have got the glow in the dark pair of shit. <laughs> <laughs> need them things for real. Need them things from Earth. <laughs> so, if if there was a shoe that came out this year that was not a Jordan One, which shoe would you would you have cop? Would you would you a Black Cement Three man or see any Jordan Three or anything? Or are you only ones? Well, actually, my Grail favorite pair. Of all time, outside of a Chicago Jordan One dropped in December, which was the Altitude Thirteens. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I was, I was, I was, I was like this close to letting my homeboy send me a pair because he had, he has like six or seven of them, right? He's a size right. 10, 10 and a half. I'm a size ten, ten and a half, and he was like, "Yo, all you gotta do is say the word, and I'll ship them." And I was like, "Man, you're not gonna do that. So if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it on your own accord. I'm not gonna tell you what to do." <laughs> All you got to do is, you know what I mean? You got to snap a pick, though. It's like, man, nobody will ever know, but I still can't do it. So. <laughs> you you OG altitude or the retro altitude? Oh, I like leather. <laughs> I don't like it on the altitude, though. I like the... No, I know, I know, I know. The 3M does sit a little bit better with it, but I like leather just because it's more yeah. comfortable. You know what I mean? With, 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 with the mesh... <laughs> Material, yeah. I, used to tear, I tore my pair up, all right? I <laughs> Mind you, I was probably high as shit when it happened, but I tore them up. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah, no. Um, Another pair that I wish would come back, I know a lot of people are probably not going to agree with me with these, the Burgundy Fives or the Green B Fives. Either one of those two. 
I'm I'm a, I, I would say I'm a I'm a five man. I, I could those cool. I mean, I mean <laughs> he looked ugly as shit when he was alive. Huh? He said he said he a five man and those is cool. Them is more nah, than cool. Um or uh what's another one? Flint Sevens. Flint Sevens, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, but you know the way we going right now, we can get all that shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thirtieth anniversary for the next couple of years. I mean, <laughs> every time right. something pops, it's his thirtieth anniversary. So it was this year is the thirtieth anniversary of the threes? Was it next year? We get, yeah. So it's like we getting anniversary releases now. So that's that's what they're doing, and they're gonna play off of all the stories too. Yeah. I mean, they already sure. done with the. They already finished with the ring set. So like, what's next? Now we gotta we gotta commemorate <laughs> moments. So right. What 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 shoe was he wearing when he came back wearing the full five? Like, yeah, right, exactly. I would say, and they with them on uh, Saturday, Saturday too. On uh, yeah, on backs, on backs. ten, yeah, the yeah. Walker backs, the Mason so, Bethers. So if you're putting together a pack to release Christmas Day, what's in the pack? Ooh, Shadow. that that's a good question. Reverse Shadow back. Reverse Shadow back. Shattered We're not eggs. doing 11s. We won't do 11. So there's always a 9, a 13, or 11 that drops in December, right? Yeah. So I do a 9 11 for New York. Okay. And I would do, um, I would do the 9s and, of course, like the Chicago light color blocking. That that hasn't been done, and then like the elevens, I would do. Damn, it's not, eleven. It's not many color blockings you could do on the eleven that hasn't been done already. You know, like, yeah, true. That's, real. that's real. It's like it's like a twelve. Like you can only pick one color. It's like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, because it's easy to do a once pack. I, I I did a ton of concepts with that. Like I have a I have a Knicks pack that I want to do with ones once I get a chance to buy some more, you know, throw those off to get customized open way, color blocking crazy. But um mm. I'd probably orange do another like I yeah, see yeah. I feel you though. The, the orange the eleven, the number, the number, the number with the flag on the back yeah. for nine eleven, the Jeep just put the G there, no no number. Silhouette of yeah, that would work. I, w I was thinking, like, probably, like, uh, uh, another defining moment of, of MJ's career and just, like, make a pack out of that and, like, release it during Christmas. But yeah. What pack to actually do all of that kind of, kind of you know, kind of put me yeah, on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, the first and last ring that he wore Do's during his first ring, and the he wore during his last ring, put that in the pack, commemorate it like that or something. So... That that could be dope too. So yeah, I just yeah. did. I just did a, um, my my last live this past Sunday. We did a whole bunch of concepts, right? Everybody was throwing out concepts of what they would like to see with shoes and everything. And um, somebody said falling pieces. If they did a collaboration with Jordan Brand or Nike, what would they do? I was like, I don't yeah. know, but it would be crazy. <laughs> for sure, yeah, for, for sure, sure. So, for sure. Uh... Yeah. So if you in this in this IG live right now, and it's your first time. You know, uh, seeing Mr. Unlove, make sure y'all follow him. He go live every Sunday, talking about the culture and all the extra shit. So y'all make sure y'all follow him. So, also shout out so, to uh, Nation of Souls. Um, oh yeah, that's how you yeah, 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 Nation yeah, of Souls for show. Shout out Nation of Souls. We still got that giveaway, one shoe every uh, month. Hit up the Heat Orders page. You can figure out how you can get your free shoe every month. How you can win a free yeah. shoe. Open to all Bay Area students. Yep. Let us know. Hit us with that essay. Not even an essay, a little paragraph. Just let us know your goals, what you want to do in life, and all that shit. Yes, for sure. Shout out Nation. So, Kenneth, what's your, what's your dream collabo? <laughs> what's your dream? What's your dream collab? We know it's going to be a Jordan one, but with who? Mm. That's tough. Actually, it's not tough at all because I've actually spoken to this man numerous times. I would want Don C to do another one. Okay. Okay. I've I, I've told him I've told him countless times. Hey man, you need to go ahead and 
grab that silhouette, snatch it back, and do another one. And all he said to me was, I got something coming. I believe him. I believe him. He got these all red ones coming. Sounds nice. Red Octobers. Yeah, yeah. I was just getting ready to say October red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't believe that until the rumor of Kanye going to file rights to get that back, copywritten. That's when I was like, okay, Nike moving. He, yeah. he knows something we don't he know. So yeah. He like they try. They gonna they try, try to, to use they my try to ass. Find a loophole. Hey. Nike's legal team is ruthless. Oh, yeah, for sure. Then they, remember when we were talking about that? They uh, trying to get Adidas for that prime net shit. Like, nah, we got that net. We got the net. <laughs> <laughs> we got the They've been in court for years over that right now. That's They've been in court for years. And, and notice you see Adidas moving away from Boost, right? They, they're doing that future crowd future shit. Because they don't own the copyrights to Boost. Oh, shit. Yeah, Boost, Boost went to Nike oh, first, to, but they didn't, they didn't fuck with it. They didn't fuck with it? Yeah. About about the two designers, designers left. <laughs> oh, okay. So Boost, Boost, is like design. Design. Boost is like Sriracha. <laughs> 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 like how, you know, like, you heard about the story of Sriracha? Like, like, my man didn't get his cut. <laughs> Boost is like Sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> Straight yeah. up, man. There's a, there's, you know, that that's the type of research I do on a daily basis that like annoys a lot of the people around me, especially my wife. I'll I'll sit down for hours and I'll go dive deep into stuff like, do they really own this? And then you start finding all these articles about, you know, how they're trying to sue people for buying the lease to certain, and you're like, oh shit, they don't own this. Yeah. 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 And that's what you that's what you do when you have a passion for something. You do research. Yeah, for sure. For sure. A lot of a lot of the youngsters don't understand that. They they like shoes and everything. They want to you know, shoes is their number one priority, but they don't want to go do the research. Yeah, I'll put it to you. My my number one priority was never the 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 shoes per se, it's the history behind them. Right? So so far, as far as like uncovering everything, just to dive back into that, I've uncovered Numerous samples that I would never be allowed to show or talk about. Hmm. Which sucks because I can't complete the goal of uncovering everything for everybody to see. Yeah. Uh, the other part of it that doesn't suck is when I see it, the SKU code and that color blocking pop up. I'm like, okay, so they're going to use it. Now I can talk about it. They right. can't. Yeah. So, like, what's another, what's a colorway that, uh, um, Last year, that was that was new. That um, damn it. Well, no hell no. The um, didn't the uh, new loves pop out last year? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was yep. last year. They were supposed to be a high. Oh. Uh, the original skew code had them. The original skew code had them as a retro high. They should have did that. Yeah, they really yeah. did that. <laughs> they should have did that thing. But, but it would have been a Jumpman high, so I don't know how well it would have sold, which is why they kept it what they kept it as. Right. Okay. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know how the pitch or anything else went outside of that. I just know when I got the original SKU code and picture of that, it said retro high. Oh, yeah, see. Okay. But they should have did that. I got to think, a lot of the stuff that I get is a year and a half in advance. So a lot of things can change. <laughs> right, right. Within that time like frame. Wheats, the wheats, the original wheats were nothing like what everybody's seen, nothing like the concept I put out, nothing like that. They just right. they, the sample that I seen, it, it doesn't look like what we're getting. Actually, the sample that I seen looks like what we're gonna get this November. Because there's another week coming out this November. The top three part two is coming out around the same time. Top three, part, part two. Part two. Wow. Let them know. Okay. Shout out to you. You already, you already said too much. You already said too much. Pino E7. You know. Yeah, I know. Put it on somebody else. He's going to put it on somebody else. Shout out to DJ Coke. I watch YouTube and Instagram just like everybody else can. I I I got that from him. Yeah, man. Okay, hey, what's your take on on 
like customizers, not customizers, but um, what do you call it when you pull the shoe apart and rebuild oh, it? Uh, um, people doing reconstructions. Yeah, decon artists. Yeah, like like Python ones and shit like that. So what's your take on? I would I would say shout out to the shoe, shoe surgeon, but he's in a little bit of hot water with a lot of people. <laughs> I love I love the aspect of people being able to do those, but I haven't seen a, or worn a pair yet. I will soon to know how they hold up. To have my true opinion on that's dope. Like I love seeing the pictures. Okay, oh that's cool. But how do they hold up after you know somebody's worn them, or is that just a display piece? Because if that's yeah, a yeah. Display piece, you charging thirteen, fourteen, and sometimes thirty five hundred for these pairs for a display piece, that don't make sense to me. Yeah. True. And then it's like again, is that stuff like truly wearable, and is it gonna last? Performance. I've heard so many horror stories on that shit. It's like, yeah. And again, it's different if you buy it for a display piece. If you got it like that, like that's a whole different thing. You right. know what I mean? Because that's say about a lot of like packs and stuff that come out now where they have like accessories with them. Like, are you buying that to wear? Or are you buying that as like a display piece? Because you're going to a lot of stores or whatnot, um, and they'll have and they'll have display pieces or have collectible items or whatnot. Yeah, so yeah. like. Yeah, if you buy it for the slave piece, yeah, but thirty five hundred to wear, like I'm gonna, it's my birthday party. <laughs> I'm not wearing no thirty five hundred dollars shoe. I'm not paying thirty five hundred for shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you got it, I guess if you got it. So, so, so to say this, uh, like with a lot of them, if their end goal is to own their own shoe, like FPC, shout out to homie. That's cool, but if your goal is to continuously do this and not, you know, have an end game, you know, like, or yeah. trying to start your own brand, like, I get it with, with certain people, you know, starting a school was, like, the smartest thing you can ever do because now you have a, a, a steady stream of income of you teaching people how an uh, actual craft that is, is almost forgotten. Yeah, you, you don't have a lot of cobblers and stuff like that out there. Oh, that, that's really what that is, right? That's what that trade. Like all trades is out the window now, right? So you teaching somebody a trade that they can make some money, some real serious money off of if they get good. Yeah. But again, my my whole my whole uh, idea on that is is that stuff wearable? Is it just a display piece? Outside of that, I'm like, pictures are cool, and I'll leave it at that. Like, shout out to Jack the Ripper. Um, I have a good relationship with him. He's a real good dude. He does quality work, right? And his yeah, work lasts. So. I, have, I have friends that actually have pairs from him, pairs with an S. Like, they bought multiple pairs because they love how that actually, you know, how they, how they feel, how they fit. The wear of everything, just the overall craftsmanship. Like he takes his time with all of his orders and he does it right. Make sure he stays in contact with you through the whole ordeal. Like mm -hmm. that's respectable, right? Yeah. Right. That, all day. That's what's up. Anything else? JFB Customs. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, like I said, I've heard a lot of stuff about people in this. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's hard not to yeah. like throw them under the bus, but it's like and you, when you're guilty in the court of public opinion, how can you not? Yeah, public opinion at that. All right. All right. What's your, uh, okay, I told you, I asked you what's your dream collab, but what, what's your dream colorway? Oh, man. Dream colorway? Purple. Like, if you if you can have a, a purple one? Anything purple. Chicago purple. What block, that what block is purple. Chicago? Red, purple. Purple. <laughs> Like the like the custom you have made or not? Um, probably like a, a shade that is actually purple. Because like when people see that, they think that's the 2013 Royals. Okay. And I laugh. I'm like, really? Were they like blue, It's bluish purple. Yeah, yeah. That's the bluish purple. I need like a true uh, Prince purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Purple rain. Purple yeah. rain. Apollonia. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I would call them bitches too. <laughs> It's the Nike Apollonias right here. What's up? All right, for real. <laughs> Is there anything 
you can tell the viewers about a Jordan one that most people wouldn't know about? Uh, the airship came first. The shoe was patterned after a dunk mixed with a blazer. Uh, Peter Moore was out of his fucking mind and almost was on his ends with. If you don't know who that is, you need to Google Peter Moore. Um, without this shoe, we wouldn't have a sneaker culture. <laughs> That's major. That's real. The one transcends over to everything, no matter what it is in culture. The Let's, one transcends. That's I think the new, the new Spider-Man baby movie. You got Spider-Man in the ones. It was it was the new, first one. It was the first Spider-Man. Yeah. No, I'm saying it's a new one coming out. Hey, listen uh, to this. Like, like a gang or something coming out. Got the ones of them. Every time Nike has a new innovation that they've, they've done and ran with, doesn't it end up on a Jordan 1? That's real. True. That's real. True. True. What's your take on the finding ones? I love them. Will I pay retail? No. <laughs> <laughs> but then the outlet, I'm on them. Yeah, it can't the, soon, as soon as I get a chance and I'm off of my sabbatical, I'm probably going to pick up a ton of shit. All right. Was he feeling a Gatorade pack? Garbage. Listen, me and Frank <laughs> had some words. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Gatorade pack for what it was, honestly, but I was thinking it was going to be a different color blocking. Um, yeah. Out of the entire pack, I love the limes. Um, yeah. I wish the purple pair was purple and not uh, it's like a deep royal. Yeah. 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 So, but I got those, and I was happy that somebody sent those to me. Right, right. I haven't paid for a pair of shoes since 2016. You lit. Check him out. I think he was like us. <laughs> you <laughs> lit. You, you lit, lit right miles. now. You said you're not buying shoes right now? Me neither. I got a baby on the way, so. Okay. Yeah, you, congratulations. You, congratulations. You, you raise them three. Three, okay. 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 Congratulations. That's my, first, that's my first girl, and I'm so excited. I can't, I, I can't wait, man. And um, because of that, I, I like, I'm not gonna say like I took like a super break because like if something comes out, of course I'm gonna pay for it. And, hey, <laughs> I got, I got to do that. But there's times where you know certain people at at the brand will be like, "Yo, did you get this? No, I right, see you Tuesday. Mm. All right, thank you. That's love. <laughs> like, nah, because people. All the respect. All Say that again. I said they can't do nothing but respect your love for the one. They said we're gonna be hyped. Yeah, they see you. They see you. The summer's gonna be crazy. I, I can tell you the summer's gonna be crazy just because of the summer of cream pack. You love shattered bad boys. You're gonna love this summer. Okay. 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 Anything you can share? <laughs> Any sneak peek? Anything uh, you can give them? I gave y'all I gave y'all uh top threes part two. Uh, top three yeah, part two. Another week there. Yeah, another week there. Yeah. Uh yeah. black toe pack. Pino Mitchell. We're getting another man satin this year. Black man. toe pack? Hold black on. Toe pack. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't say that shit, man. Don't say that shit. <laughs> so, when I mean by pack, um, they don't necessarily come out um, in a pack in in itself. Right. Retroactive packs is what they pretty much call them, right. and it's pretty right. much like the retroactive pack. They got something coming for the ladies that's going to be something serious. Pino leaked it or, or hinted at it recently that that it's a beautiful pack full of Air Maxes, Air Forces, and all types of shit. But the black toe pack is like. It's four or five different pairs of shoes that'll have the black toe silhouette. Wait, we getting corduroy ones this year? I'm not sure. I, I haven't <laughs> I haven't uh I haven't seen any materials for anything. I just I just know colors. Yeah. Wait, do do corduroy belong on a Jordan one? I, I haven't heard anything. I, I I'll say that. I haven't heard anything. <laughs> no, but in your own opinion, would you like oh, to see corduroy? What I like to I still, I still need the first pair. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I spoke to her in the DMs too. No, it, if 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 Evans, with everything that she's working on this year, we might see something else because the 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 summer of her pack was another thing that she touched on, minus yeah. the twelve. Um, she didn't have nothing to do with none of the reimage ones, <laughs> so don't throw her under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother team, and there I, I don't remember seeing anybody of this persuasion on that that team. So I don't, I don't know. Like shout out to all those ladies too. It's about ten ladies that came up with that entire pack. Um, I had the opportunity to speak to them too. They don't like what's being said on social media <laughs> <laughs> at all. But I mean, it is what it is. Social media is a ruthless space. But um, I'm sure. Wait, what, what uh, I can't like? pronounce the name. All I will say is May has some shit Lately. coming for her. A Laylee. A Laylee. A Laylee. Yeah. She has something coming that's going to be serious. I can tell y'all that. I can't tell y'all what it is, but I can tell y'all that. Okay. It's, it's coming. That is, that's probably going to be uh, May, June, July time frame. So within those three months, her next project will start up. Okay, okay. So, yeah, so we got two minutes left on the live. They try to cut us off, so we got to make sure they know who you are once more. Everybody that followed you, everybody that joined in, let them know who you are one more time for us. Mr. Unloved, mm -hmm. I'm here for the history of ones and the unloved ones, all right? That's going to be. Meaning, meaning the ones that everybody don't love. Exactly. Hey, man, thank y'all for allowing me to do this tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you yeah, for getting appreciate, on with appreciate us. You know, your we still time. got a minute. We have any more questions? We got a minute. Do, yeah. do you collect anything else outside of sneakers? I used to. I used to. I used to. One, one through 13. With the okay. seven, the 17s and 18s. And maybe. No, I mean, besides shoes, period. Besides shoes. Oh, yeah. Pops, hats, T-shirts. Okay. And jackets. I got a lot of jackets. A lot of jackets. A lot of jackets. Oh, we was talking about the uh, coming to America pops. <laughs> <laughs> we looked at those last podcasts. Yeah, um, yeah. I was listening. I listen. I catch y'all every week, man. I make sure I download every week, man. Yeah, we uh, appreciate, appreciate that, that man. man. For sure, appreciate, appreciate that. that. And hey, are you blue? Are you huh? a friend? Say that again. No. Oh, okay. I was like, I mean, I mean that. <laughs> hey, nah, but we appreciate your time. We'd love to have you again. Once we get some, you know, Jordan 1 info out there, we're going to go to the man to get the knowledge and everything about everything. But we really appreciate your time. So, though, for, for sure. sure. High attention. It was the Heat Hoarders. It was Mr. Unloved Ones. Yeah, we sure appreciate it. Unloved Ones. Hello. You know what I mean? We out of here. For sure.